really excited to get back to RSEA Park next year. Um, it's been a really good opportunity for the players to have a little bit of in-depth conversation about what goes into the design. Uh, we expect a lot of ourselves from a playing point of view as a playing group and we're really happy that our new facilities are going to really represent the expectations we have on ourselves with a quality new facility. That's why RSEA Park will be a purpose-built, uh, state-of-the-art facility. Um, but it's not only just for us, it's for our people and our community, so um, we'll take you through now for a bit of a look. Alright Gears, here we are on Linton Street, so I think um, we're just going to make our way down to the players area. Just bear with Nunzi here, he's pretty ordinary at controlling it, so... There we go. We'll see how he goes. So this is the players entry. Just on the right here, we've got the uh, strapping area, so that'll be used every morning. Um, our trainers will um, have the boys up there strapping them ready for training. And on the left I think there's a little bit of a nutrition bar there, which yep. is... Um, which is really good to have, especially with the access to the ground being right there and being able to come off and get hydrated straight away is really important. So we've got a ground or gym here. Yes. Going to the gym yep. on your left. So this is the gym here. It's uh, another significant improvement on what we've had at Seaford, which is obviously a really high quality facility as it is, but this is an improvement on that. Obviously there's not much equipment in there at the moment, but we're hoping by the time that the facility's built there'll be some stuff in there. The basketball court's 20% bigger as you go through this roller door here. Here it is. So we've currently got a basketball court at Seaford which is really good for us to use um, if the, we've got some inclement weather or we want to do a bit of extra um, stuff indoors so we've got the basketball court which is really handy. Another good feature of the, um, the whole design of the facility is that it's at ground level which is really good because whether there's you know guys on the training track or in the gym it's really good to be on the one level and be able to come in straight off the track and into the gym if you, if you need to do that. We've got plenty of room as you can see for fans to get down and, and watch us train. When VFL move there there's obviously going to be um, some games there in the future which is going to be really good to get. Plenty of Saints fans down there to watch footy. The more we get down there at, at training and games um, it's really good. It creates a really good atmosphere for the boys. I'm really excited that when we do move to Moorabbin, there's going to be some really good facilities for our, our fans to come and watch us train and play. You just come off the uh, oval. You're going to go check out the players' locker room. Um, as you scoot past the physio rooms and the medical offices are just in on the right. And now we're going into the players' locker room, which is a pretty important hub for the, for the boys. We spend a lot of time in here. Get some sweaty and stinky boys in there, so it's good to have a couple of windows that will be able to be opened. That's some good areas there, isn't it? See, that's um, Hollywood Boulevard there. <laughs> <laughs> the locker rooms are uh, a little bit bigger than the ones we've got at Seaford, and obviously the locker design is a, is a lot different. We've got an above um, cabinet for each player that sort of puts some personal belongings that's lockable, and then the bottom comes out. And you can put your, your boots and other personal belongings in there. I think it's got um, USB adapters and power points. Players might have iPads and computers that they need to have games loaded onto, so it's, it's pretty good to have that. Just head through here, this is, this is the, the bathroom. Plenty of showers for the boys post-training. I think just through the, the next door is our uh, recovery facility, another really important room that'll get used very frequently. At the moment, we've got a, a, a really big size pool down at Seaford and a couple of uh, hot spas, but here we're gonna have a, a few cold and a few hot different depths, which is gonna be really good because there's a few obviously taller boys and shorter boys. It's a really important facility for us because we know how important recovery is these days in um, football. You've got to recover really strongly and be able to back up week in, week out. So as you walk out here, we're going to duck upstairs now and have a look at the uh, players area. And we've got a nice lounge up here where we'll um, be able to spend a bit of our downtime. This is the, the players room. We've got a table tennis t table, which is very important. Um, <laughs> gets used a lot. There's a lot of battles on there. Hopefully we don't have any more holes straight in the wall from some of the intense um, table tennis games. What's, a, what's really good, um, something we, we do have at Seaford, but probably not to this degree, is a, a nice little kitchenette here where we can um, prepare our own meals or you know have some options for guys to have snacks um, or food. Nutrition is a really important thing um, for AFL footballs or any professional athlete, so it's really good to be able to have that there. This is uh, the area where you could look at opposition games. We, we have computers that will go into this room and they'll have most games from 2011, 12, 13 from every game of AFL footy where you can study players or look at the way you've gone against certain opposition for a, a number of years, so it's, um, it gets used a lot. Thanks very much for your expert guidance there, Jill. That was really good. No worries, Gears. And we hope that snapshot gives you some excitement about our new home. And um, don't forget, we can't do this alone, so help bring us home.